Okay, so for anyone who's interested, um, just thought I'd um, do a quick video just showing you my character in Skyrim. Um, lovely, isn't he? <laughs> right, we, um, have a look through my items first because they're the things I like the best. Right, my main weapons are my Daedric Swords, which as you can see do 180 damage, both of them. Um, but that's not the full story because in my apparel I have got various magic items that improve them. So for example I've got my boots which improve one-handed damage and one-handed attacks by 47% so I can put them on. And I've also got some gauntlets that improve one-handed attacks by 47%. And also I've got a necklace and somewhere I've got a necklace is it already on no where is it sneaking there you go one handed attacks and a ring somewhere which does the same one handed attacks so if I really want to go into combat with something like a legendary dragon or something um, I can uh, go into combat doing 518 damage on each of them so the usual procedure is you get the dragon to land and uh, you run up to it and then you go you do a slow time on it and you then do power attacks and basically it will kill anything nothing will survive very many of those when you're doing 518 damage on each and of course it's slow time so the dragon itself will do absolutely nothing to me so usually I killed legendary dragons without taking any damage at all which is pretty cool um, let's have a look at the other things I've got um, weapon wise I've got a dragon bone bow uh, various, it's 233 but obviously I've got various magic items which would improve that uh, dragon bone warhammer um, which does 220 but um, again I've got um, the gauntlets and the um, the boots I've got a two handed version so that's 47 the boots I can put on and then when you go back into the weapon suddenly the dragon bone warhammer is doing 426 ok but the um, some of the apparel I've got is pretty cool I've got um, the ethereal crown the ethereal crown as it says it retains the last standing stone ability you held because uh, normally when you have a standing stone you take the standing you, you you click on the standing stone and you get its power but if you go to a different standing stone and you click on that one the old power is lost and you get the new power but with the ethereal crown you can keep the old one so if we go into magic and we go into active effects you can see that I've got the warrior stone which gives me a uh, 20% bonus on all combat skills but because I've got the Lover's Stone attached to the Ethereal Crown, I've also got that as well. So all skills improve 15% faster. Okay, so I've got two going at the same time. So if I actually take off the Ethereal Crown, you'll see top left it says the Lover's Stone removed. And I'll put it back on again, and the Lover's Stone gets added. So I can have that all the time. I've got um, those boots because they give me water walking, which is quite useful. Uh, amulet of Articulation gives me a 35% bonus to Speechcraft. Uh, my Armour gives me 72 on Health and Stamina. The Boots we know about, 72% uh, Stamina and either one-handed bonus or, or two-handed bonus. The Gauntlets um, give me 47% more damage on my bow and then again either two-handed damage bonus or one-handed damage bonus. My Helmet is a lock-picking bonus or bow damage. I've got the shield, um, I should get rid of that really, I'm only, I was only carrying that to actually get my shield skill up to 100, um, but obviously it's got a block bonus. Um, I carry that helm around because it gives me water breathing, if I ever want to go under water for any reason. Um, and these are the good things. Um, I've got this jeweled necklace and you'll notice that it increases magic resistance by 23% and it increases the magic resistance by 23%, 29%. Now the thing is, you're not supposed to be able to put the same magic effect twice on one magic item. So I can't have, for example, increase one-handed damage by 47% and 
and increase one-handed damage by 47%. You can't do that. But there is one shield in the game, I think it's a shield, that either by design or by a bug, it has a magic resistance effect on it, which, as I say, I don't know why it's by design or due to a bug, but that magic resistance effect on this one shield in the whole game is considered to be a different magic resistance effect to all other magic items which have a magic resistance effect, which means you can put it on a magic item that's already got magic resistance on. So that's how I've got it twice. So that's, what, 52% magic resistance on that necklace. And down here, I've got a ring, which is the same. Also 52%. Now, magic resistance actually caps out at 90%, um, but it still means when I'm wearing those two, I'm 90% resistant to all magic. So I come up against a dragon, and it breathes fire on me or something, and I just laugh at it, because it just doesn't damage me, because I'm 90% resistant to it, which is cool. Um, and these other necklaces, they've got things like... Um, magic resistance and one-handed or lock picking if I'm come up against a master lock I'll put that on or if I want extra magicka um, and if I want to sneak and snipe with my bow I'll put that on increases bow damage and increases my sneak and basically I've got the same stuff with my rings one-handed and magic um, resistance uh, bows and sneaking and lock picking and magic regenerates faster um, so that's all my my cool stuff. Um, loads of arrows, as you can see, but it's really only those those weapons. Um, if I'm in a big fight, I use my swords. Most of the time, 99% of the time, I just use my Dragonbone Warhammer because if we now go into skills, you see I le I'm level 90. Um, enchanting 100, smithing 100. Um, now, this is the important one, Heavy Armour 68, but notice below it, it's got that little Skyrim symbol and the two. That's because that skill's been legendaried twice. Now, what legendary means is if you go to a skill with 100, up the top, just under where it says level 90, you can see, press triangle for legendary. And what that does, as you can read there, making a skill legendary, will set it to 15 and return its perks. Well, no. So what you do is you get all the all the perk points that you put back into it. You put into it, you get back, um, and you can either spend them elsewhere or you can wait to level up this skill and put them back on the skill as you get to the right level. Uh, but the the skill itself drops back to 15, which means you can get all those levels back. And of course, it's leveling up your skills, which is in, which increases your level, your character level. So in the vanilla game, I think. If you get all the skills to 100, if you get all the skills to 100, you cap out at character level 88. But because you can legendary these things and then get even more levels through leveling them up again and again and again, hence I've gone past the original level cap and uh, I'm up to level 90. Um, you can see my. This is the reason I do most of my fighting with a two-handed sword. It's because. Um, I legendary it all the time. I don't mind if my two-handed sword drops to 15 if, if I legendary it because if I get into a tough fight I just go back to my one-handed and just absolutely destroy everything. Okay, so I've also got archery up to 100. Light armour I haven't done yet. When I get uh, when I get my heavy armour back up to 100 I'll stop mucking about with that and I'll get my light armour up to 100. I'll make some dragon scale armour. Sneaks up to 100. Lock picking only 68, but as you can see again, it's got that Skyrim symbol. I've legendaried it. Pickpocking up. Pickpocket 100. Speech 100. Alchemy 100. And legendary twice. Alchemy is so easy to legendary. You just, everywhere you go, if you see any plants or any alchem um, alchemy ingredients, you just pick them up all the time and just store them. And then when you think you've got enough, you just legendary your alchemy skill pick up all those ingredients you go online there's an app online that tells you the best most expensive and therefore best XP potion that you can use that you can make with the ingredients you've got and you just make loads and loads and loads of potions and you can level it up so quickly it's so easy um, magic skills are quite difficult to level up so I'm leveling them up slowly but I'm nearly there I won't bother legendary in any of them and then we're back to enchanting and smithing. As I say, when I first started the game on legendary difficulty, I 
I didn't leave uh, Whiterun until I'd got enchanting, smithing and alchemy up to a hundred and then with those skills I, I then smithed Daedric weapons and armour and then enchanted them with all those good things. Basically when I left Whiterun for the first time all those weapons and armour that you saw there I had those from the day I left Whiterun at level 30 with all you know really good magic items so I could actually hold my own and beat mud crabs which on le legendary difficulty will kill you okay so there's there's my character um, this is from the DLC Hearthfire this is a house I built myself um, and you'll see what I mean if I go in you can see a loading screen now see how long, long they are you were saying on the Xbox they're really long well now you see how long the loading screens are on the PlayStation they are that long okay so this house I built myself and it's the enchanting room as you can see I no, I don't want to do that and I collect loads of grand soul gems I've got over a hundred of them for when I want to magic up and then the enchanting room is in here sorry enchanting the alchemy room um, and in here there's the uh, magic items that I wear when I'm in uh, doing alchemy that obviously increase the uh, potency of the potions and get me more XP's and these are the uh, all the uh, alchemy ingredients and so whenever I want to level up enchanting if I want to legendary it so it goes back to 15 I just come in here pick up all of this and uh, put put them on and then just go to the app online that I mentioned and uh, just make tons and tons and tons of potions um, and you end up leveling up really really easily um, and the same with smithing down here every time I go into town I sell, when I pick up you know stuff to sell in 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 dungeons and things I go to white run and I sell it and every time I go to white run anyone who's selling iron ingots I buy all of them so that I can do the same thing with smithing so I've got 42 daedra hearts 26 dragon bones 34 dragon scales and most importantly 787 iron ingots because the way you level up smithing is that you make loads and loads and loads of iron daggers which you just need iron ingots and leather for so you just you just take those and turn all the iron ore into more iron ingots turn the leather into leather strips and then just sit there legendary your smithing skill so you're starting from 15 and then you just make endless iron daggers and it makes leveling up smithing really easy um, and again I'll just take you outside show you the loading screens I'll do a fast travel and then you can see what uh, what the fast travel load times are like so if we fast travel to white run there you go you can see how long it takes to fast travel places because you did mention that the the loading screens were really really long on the xbox so and that's how long it takes and we're back home you're someone who can get things done I and like obviously uh, there's home in white run Bree's home and if you have a look here in the early days I used to do all my alchemy stuff here and if you look in this sack here you can find these are all the potions that I've made leveling up alchemy that I haven't got around to selling yet just shed loads and shed loads and shed loads and shed loads of potions from levelling up alchemy. Okay, easy to do. Anyway, there you go. I thought that might show you a bit about my character in Skyrim. Enjoy! <laughs>